Hi there, welcome to Roll. Tristan's my name, and today what I want to do is talk you through how Roll handles costs and uh, or costs associated with projects. Um, we've got a great uh, feature where you can actually list out line item by line item all the costs that you've got going on a project, and uh, when you're generating your invoice, um, you can choose to um, actually bring those costs through to the invoice if you want to or not. Um, but uh, let's uh, jump straight into it. And um, I've set up a project earlier, which is effectively for uh, business card printing for a company. Now, um, this is we, we're looking at uh, aspiring medical business cards, three names, and then we've got printing as an additional cost on top of the project. So, what we'd do at this point is we'd actually go through to our suppliers and we'd, um, we would actually get a a quote for printing uh, the business cards. Now that's to supply the quote um, or a cost, and we actually want that. We have accepted the quote. And we actually want to add this into the costs associated with the job. So on our project info um, screen, we've got the cost tab up here. We can go into the cost, and um, here we can actually add the, the cost of a job. So I'm going to pick today's dates, and uh, I'm going to keep things easy. I'm just going to go printing cost for business cards. And at this stage, um, uh, you get a couple of options. The, the you, you get the um, uh, the ability to enter the buy price or the, the cost price, uh, what it costs you to buy buy those printing services. So in this case, I'm going to say it's two hundred fifty dollars. And um, now I get the, the the choice of saying whether this is an invoice invoiceable item or not. Am I going to be billing this? And cost across onto the invoice when I generate the, generate the invoice and in this case I actually want to so um, I'm going to say yep this is billable and now I've got another option where I can actually enter the sell price so how much I want to sell this um, onto my client for this, this these printing costs um, so I'm going to say I want to sell this for $300 and then click add now what I've done now is just added that cost into um, the job and uh, I've also said that it's billable and I want to actually put it through to, to the invoice when the time's coming uh, or the time comes to do my invoicing. Um, on my project info screen, uh, that'll update um, accordingly. Um, you can see your costs are negative $50, um, which is indicating that you're actually making a profit uh, on uh, the costs that you have on the job so far. Um, so let's actually generate the invoice and I'll show you how you can bring those costs across. Um, the, uh, so I've gone across to the invoicing tab. Um, I'm ready to invoice this job. Uh, let's go create invoice and uh, roll will start generating the invoice. Now um, it automatically populates with the company name, uh, the uh, project name, and then also gives you some information that's just in blue here that's, that's uh, particular just for this project and won't go through on the invoice. Um, but here we can go, okay, um, business. Uh, development and uh, design and printing is quoted. And uh, I'm going to choose the GL account and just say that that's uh, general sales. There we go, fine. And I know that um, the value uh, of the job is $500. Now that's um, the, uh, the invoice pretty much set up as it was quoted to the client. Now, what I want to do is actually want to import those printing costs. So um, you can see down here we've got a few options. We can add a new line. We can import time records if we were just with invoicing based on time, uh, rather than fixed cost. Or we can or fixed cost, and we or we can actually now import the costs. So if I hit that button, um, it'll now drop down with um, showing me the costs that have already been added to this job, and I can select the ones that I want to actually include um, uh, on this invoice. So here's the one I added earlier. I'm going to add that to the invoice. And all I need to do now is uh, go through and, and choose a GL account for that. I'll just click sales, make it easy. And uh, now we're ready to um, invoice that job. And we've got the original fixed price quote, and then we've got the additional printing cost on top. Um, and then you're ready to print and send it. So effectively, uh, that in a nutshell is how you will manage costs on uh, the projects or on the jobs that you're dealing with. Um, really great feature, it can handle multiple lines, um, you can select uh, which ones you want to be um, invoiceable or not and, um, and then also get visibility in terms of the project info screen uh, on all of the costs, um, not just in terms of time uh, but in terms of other costs that are associated with the project. So 
so really good visibility. Um, so that's effectively um, how you handle costs and roll in a nutshell. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to uh, check out our other videos on YouTube on our YouTube channel, um, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon.